Have you ever thought about Satan as a drug dealer? I think that would be a good analogy to use. Going all the way back in the garden, Genesis 3 and verse 5, Satan was peddling a false feel-good ideology. Now, he was peddling sin, not literal drugs. Of course, we get that. But it was the same idea. He told Eve, here, eat this and you'll feel good. You'll be like God. You'll be understanding. And incidentally, she did learn some things from that, didn't she? And so for 6,000 years, what Satan has done is basically the same thing. He has been pushing his sin, his drugs, and with the idea that, hey, do this, and you're going to feel strong or powerful or happy or fulfilled or, or whatever, be enlightened. It's always this idea that if you'll just do this one thing, this drug, this sin, then life is going to be better. That's a lie. It's, it's never better. Now, I do have to say that there is some truth, though, to Satan's lie in that Eve did become like God. Adam and Eve both became like God. And that was part of Satan's deception, remember? He said, eat this fruit, because when the day you eat it, you'll be like God. And if you go ahead and read to the end of chapter 3, God puts man out of the garden because he says man has become like us. That is how Satan sells his drug. The best way to sell a lie is to sandwich it between two truths. And Satan uses that same principle. So when he's lying to you and says, man, you need to jump into this sin. You are going to have so much fun. Chances are up front, you are going to have some fun. Chances are up front, you're going to think, boy, this is the life. The problem is, is that long-term payoff after that little bit of fun up front. So you're out for your Friday night. You're having your good time, you're drinking with your buddies, doing whatever, and Friday night is going pretty good until there's that car wreck. And you're the one behind the wheel getting the, all the legal hassle for drinking and driving and maybe even doing time in prison because someone in the car died while you were driving under the influence. Or maybe there are other consequences. These things actually happen. And we all know stories of people who are having fun one night and then paying child support for the next 20 years because of the fun they had for that one night and didn't even marry the person they were so in love with for the moment. That's the lie part. Satan lies and says, man, this is going to be so much fun, and there is entertainment there for a moment. And then there's this potential payoff that can last for years and years and even a lifetime. And so when Satan comes pushing his drugs your way, his sin, just say no. Say, look, dude, I don't want it. I would rather be bored than go down the path you're offering. Little something to think about. I hope you will. And have a great day.